Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Oakley. This is a commentary channel all about YouTube moms. I've been watching moms on YouTube for seven or eight years. I know a lot about this community. So I like to have conversations, talk about what's going on. It's never been and never will be my intention to cancel anyone. So with all that being said, you guys know, if you've been around for a while, I don't like long intros. So let's get to the video. Today's video is all about Till Vacuum Do Us Part. She has a second YouTube channel. It's a vlogging channel, Ashley and Chase. They haven't posted over there in three months though. But today we're talking about their new adventure. They purchased a second home and I'm also gonna give you guys my opinion on the remodeling of Chase's Instagram account into an Amazon deal finding account. There's a lot to talk about. So in case you guys have no idea who Till Vacuum Do Us Part is, she's a cleaning DIY channel on YouTube. I think she started her channel about two years ago and she's almost at 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. She's married to, I believe her high school sweetheart, I'm pretty sure, Chase, and they have a daughter. I wanna say a year after being on YouTube, her husband Chase quit his full-time job to come home and help her with YouTube and social media. When I think of Chase, I think of Dave Ramsey. He quotes Dave Ramsey all the time. They've made a bunch of different finance videos where they talk about Dave Ramsey. Chase is really good at the business side of YouTube, if you want my opinion, I think he is. He handles like the description box, like the analytics, the SEO, all of that for her channel. Chase is known for finding good deals online, finding good deals anywhere. They talk about how he has his little stack of coupons that he uses. Amazon Prime Day hit this year and he was on it. And just like most influencers are, they provide a swipe up link, you swipe up and buy something and they make a commission off of your purchase. I believe right around that time is when Chase decided to transfer his Instagram account, which was basically mirrored after their vlog channel. He changed that to an Amazon deal finding Instagram account. I get Chase to switch over the Chase and Ashley vlog, or Ashley and Chase vlogs Instagram account. You guys really liked his Amazon finds and he's so good at finding deals. Like he's so good about it across the board, like food and when kids eat free and fireworks and just like any way to save us money. He's always been so good at it. And I think he should do that account. So he did it and I've been checking out his account every now and then and he follows the FTC guidelines. If it's an affiliate link, he says it's an affiliate link. So I do like that about his page. I like to see influencers who are transparent and don't try to hide stuff because then you come off as shady and I do not get a shady feeling from Chase at all. Since he's like came home to help me, he's always just kind of been helping me and I've just seen him like be so excited sharing deals with you guys and it's just like that's his passion. Like as much as I love like organizing and decorating, like he thrives off finding deals and saving money. Like we rarely go places without a coupon or a deal or an app. Um, so it would just be a way to share his passion with you guys. I think it's a good thing that he's kind of found something on social media that he likes doing, he feels comfortable doing. And I think it's a good thing because he left his full-time job to come home and help Ashley. And I think when a man leaves their job to come home and help their wife on YouTube, they tend to sometimes pick up slack with homeschooling running errands, grocery shopping. There's nothing wrong with doing any of those things. I think a man should help with all of those things. I'm sure coming home and quitting his full-time job was an adjustment. And for him to find something that he likes and that he enjoys, I think it's great. As long as he continues to be transparent about what he's doing, I got no problem with it. And I've heard from a few of you guys who have purchased through his links and you like the product, so. Now let's talk about their new adventure. They purchased a second house. Ashley posted a video about it on Till Vacuum Do His Part. I watched the entire video. I'm gonna show you guys a few clips today, but first I wanna say, I think what they're doing is really smart. I think this was Chase's idea. He wants to grow their income. I think you should never put all your eggs in one basket. So they are certainly diversifying their income and I think it's brilliant. YouTube doesn't last forever for anyone. I think they know that and I think they are planning for the future, which is really smart. I also think there are only so many things they can do in their own home to produce content. Like you can only move a chair so many times. You can only paint something so many times. 
and you can only, you know what I mean? So I think this new adventure has so many different layers to it. It helps them with new content. It helps them stay busy and be creative, and I think they like doing that. And since this is an Airbnb, it will probably end up paying for itself. I'm sure that's their plan at least. Any and everything they do to this new house, they can write off on their taxes too because it's all used for content. So this is just a plus any way you look at it. Airbnbs are really hit right now, at least like in our area and surrounding states. Um, Tulsa or even Oklahoma doesn't have many cool places to stay at, but we're two blocks away and even that. It's like a four minute walk from the gathering place. If you've never heard of it, check it out. Um, it's a really cool park. This is where they start to lose me. I know she's excited, I know she wants to share, but I think she's sharing too much here. She just said the city this house is in, and she said it's a four minute walk from this huge popular park in Tulsa. So within a few hours of her posting that video, someone sent me the listing for this house. And another viewer sent me the address. I think YouTubers share too much sometimes. They also shared the front of this house, the side of this house, the back of the house, the neighborhood. They put it all out there. So it's going to be really cool with friends and family and other people can come hang out here and we can go visit those areas together, spend some holidays here. This is not just a house for the general public. They also plan on spending holidays there allowing their friends and family to stay there. So safety should be a concern. It should be a priority. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you guys got a little sneak peek, you got a little alert. So they showed the front of this house on every platform they have. Chase showed it on his Instagram. Ashley showed it on her Instagram. They showed it on YouTube. It's everywhere. And like I said, people have already found the address. It's just not safe to do this. I just don't understand why YouTubers and influencers show the front of their house or give specific details that she gave. She said exactly how many blocks it was from this park. Little details like that helped people find the listing on this house. Cool area here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So it's about 30 minutes or so away from like our current house. Don't tell us that either. Stop giving so many private details. They talk about privacy a lot. At their current house, their neighbor is building a house behind them and they were worried that it would be a two-story house with windows and then on the second story, their neighbor would be able to see into their backyard. They made a big deal about this. Ashley talked about it all the time, how she really didn't want that to happen. So I know they are concerned about privacy in certain areas, but they also show the front, the back, the side of their primary house that they live in. I don't get this. I get that they do DIYs and part of their content is transforming like the look of their house. Also included in that is the outside of their house because Ashley likes to paint the brick white. I get that, but you just got to think of another way to do it without showing the front of your house and without giving these little details that help people find your address need to like pack and remove but this is going to be more of a house for our family our friends and we're also going to airbnb it so this is going to be a house for her family her friends she said they're going to spend some holidays there and they're going to airbnb it so this is not just for the public your family's going to be there you are going to be there some nights i think if she would have just said this is going to be an airbnb for the public i don't think i would feel the way that I feel, but her family's going to stay there, her friends, and she said they will spend time there as well. So you have to think about your safety and privacy. Plus, if I'm a customer, I'm thinking, whoa, if I ever go to Oklahoma, would I love to stay there? Yes, I would. And I would probably book this house because I know that it's going to be clean and nice because that's how they keep their primary home. But I know that they've already showed this to the public, to YouTube. Anyone in the world can see this house. It's on YouTube. I don't know if a creep would show up when I was there, so I don't think I would book this. I don't think I would. These are my opinions, okay? Opinions are not facts. You should not consider my opinion as a fact. You should do your own research and believe what you want to believe. This is just my opinion. I'm just telling you guys how I feel and what I'm comfortable with. You might be comfortable staying in this house and that's fine. That's a decision that you would make for your family.
These are just my opinions. Based on this video that I watched, the way they presented this to the public, I would not feel comfortable renting this house. Everybody can come stay in it. Um, we kind of have been looking for ways just to start making money outside of YouTube. You guys kind of got to understand that. As I will be here as long as YouTube and you all allow me, but Chase was ready to just kind of have a new adventure and um, it's just a really cool thing to mark off our bucket list. Yeah, I agree with all of that. I think it's very smart. What they're doing is very smart. I just don't agree with showing all four sides of this house on YouTube. Literally to the whole world, everyone has access to YouTube. They showed the neighborhood. They showed all the neighbors' houses on Instagram. And she also gave very specific details about the location of this house. Viewers were able to find the listing and they sent it to me. They sent me the address within a couple hours of her posting that video. I don't think the viewers who sent me the listing or the address have bad intentions at all. I just think they were curious. But there are some people out there with not so good intentions. And unfortunately, you do have to consider that. You have to think about that when you're a public figure online. I say unfortunately because it is unfortunate that we have to Think about the creeps out there. We have to protect ourselves. We don't live in this world without crime, without stalkers. That world doesn't exist. It just doesn't. Let me know what you think about the situation. Leave a comment down below if there's something you want to share. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.